All right, so I'm streaming, and I am playing F-Zero GX for the GameCube. Uh, I haven't played this in, I don't know, even, couldn't even tell you how long, 15 plus years, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but whatever. That's it. It is what it is. It is what it is. So I'm just like in the middle of playing right now. It's a little different than the Super Nintendo game in that, you know, you can knock racers off like the N64 game and um, your meter uh, for like charging up is your, you know, you hold that down to like boost after the first lap. It's a little different. So. What's up, Gino? To the challenge of our rivals. Oh, fucker. And the last known survivor. God. Low on health. Can I any fuckers touch me? Where's the help? The final lap. This is the help. All right, here it is. Okay, now I'm good. Thank God. Oh fuck! Fuck! Oh my God! This guy, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, you fucker. I had no boost left. I gotta just hope for the best here. Come on! Ah! <laughs> What's up, guys? Thank you, Scraggle Rock and Superior Scarlet for the subs and Camp Zack yourself. Am I racing against Batman? I'm always racing against Batman. Batmobile lost the wheel. And the Joker got away. <laughs> this game is torture. It says Cherry Bombs. So, okay, so you guys, I haven't played this. If anybody comes in, if you're watching the stream, let them know. I haven't played this game in like 15 years or something. So I just popped it in and I'm like, hey, I haven't played this in a long time. Thanks again though, Scraggle Rock, for 23 months. And camp sack yourself for 11 months. What's up, Barbarian? As long as Mike gets first place all over in the end, it's all good. We'll see what happens. Breaking out the cube. Yeah. I have, I think, currently three different game cubes. Um, I should, oh, I should take a picture of this. Um, I have an Instagram. I should take a picture of this for my Instagram. I keep forgetting I want to do that because this is my, my favorite GameCube is the, it's like, what is it called? Like, uh, it's like the orange one, but it's like, there's a name, there's a name for the, for the color orange, a specific one. It's like something orange. Anyway, um, when I originally got my GameCube, I got the black GameCube. I remember going to, I think it was at Kmart. <laughs> And I got the GameCube, and it was a black... I wanted the black GameCube. And then, at some point later, I got a purple GameCube. And then, uh, then... Then, I don't know what happened to those. 
I don't know what the hell happened to my original GameCube. But then eventually I ended up with a silver GameCube, and I had that for a really long time. And then I think that one broke or something. And now I currently have three other GameCubes. So I think I've owned like six or seven GameCubes in my life. <laughs> um, but now I have, um, I have a purple, I think, I think I purple and silver. And then I have this one that I'm using now, which is my favorite one, which is the, which is the orange one. Maybe somebody knows. Spice Orange, said the nerd Ness ST. Yes. That's it. That's it. I believe spice orange. Mike, I like that wampum stream. LOL. Oh, were you watching that? Yeah, that was several years ago. Um, and uh, you know, I kept being told by somebody that that game was really good, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, sure, I'll try it out. Because I hadn't really played it. So I went and played it, and I just... I beat it, I believe. I'm pretty sure I beat that game, right? Didn't... I drove me, drove me nuts. I didn't really like it. You thought the orange was the Japanese one? Um... Is the orange GameCube, like, a Japan-only thing? I don't know, because I got it online, so, like, maybe... Uh, but anyway. Thanks, Cory Bomb. Hey, Skywalker. Atrax Live says, oh, oh my gosh, show us the picture. Show you what picture. It's orange, it's clementine. Is this game worth buying because I wanted to try it? So, uh, Extreme Master 205 just asked, is this worth buying? So listen, I got, I got this game when it came out, um, I don't know, probably back in like whatever, 2002 or three or whenever this came out, and I played it back then. And I haven't really played it very much at all since then. This is the first time I've been really playing it in a very, very, very long time. Um, but I remember liking it back then. So um, I, I, I think it's a good game from what I remember, but I, I haven't really played it. So we're going we're gonna to find out if I still like it. By the way, which difficulty are you on, Mike? Expert, Master... I have I don't even know how to change difficult. I haven't played this game in like 15 plus years. I so I don't even know whatever it starts on is what I'm on. I don't, I don't even know what difficulty. It's probably the easiest one or the normal or whatever it starts on. So I'm I'm back to square one with this. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to I'm going to do another race and then I'll talk to the chat again. That's what's good about this. I can talk to my chat in between in between races. All right. Well, this actually that says difficulty three stars, so three star difficulty, or is that the track? I don't even know. You guys tell me. You guys can teach me about this game because I don't. You probably know more than I do with this because I, you know, um, I believe that back then when I bought this game initially when I got it, I'm pretty sure I went through it all back then. But it was such a long time ago that I don't remember. So, you know. So you can, uh, so unlike the uh, Super Nintendo F Series, you can like slam into guys. I'm, I'm not good at it or anything. Like I said, I haven't played it in forever. But you can like smash into guys, and if you're and if you're able to kill them, they stay, they still stay dead, which is they'll stay dead. Oh my God! Look at this. And after the first uh, lap, then uh, then you get your boost and shit. Oh shit! You can also do. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, not yet. Damn, fuckers! Okay, now I have the boost power.
that that you can like do a spin and like slam into them and whatever. And I just saw some gift subs coming in <laughs> at the corner of my eye. I'll look at a second. My my whole I just saw the colors change in the entire chat. So something happened. I'll I will look as soon as this laps over. Thank you, whoever it is. <laughs> I'll look in one second. It's fun. I, it's fun. I can tell. I don't. I don't know how many, but I can tell that it's a lot because the whole screen I can see changed over there. Oh, I'm gonna die anyway. Let's see if I can make this. Oh boy. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't get on the right. Uh, see, that's one of the problems. I'm not getting on the right. Oh, and then it changed to this side. Here, we're gonna re we're gonna redo this course. Jeez. All right, let's let me skip back and see what happened here. All right, so my goodness, we have 50 gift subs. Holy shit! From TFLABZ. <coughs> if there's a way to pronounce that, I don't know. Uh, TFLABZ gift subs 50. Uh, subs out, so I'm gonna read these out, guys. Uh, you might have just got yourself a gift sub to my stream. Uh, gift subs went out to Drifter TV, Cyclops B, Mac 410, Old School Geek, Cherry Bonds 12, God Jin, Muppet Sauce, Wishbone, Rue Boy, Kaiju's Dead, Ton Crusher, uh, AWQ, uh, Gin Tonic. <laughs> I like the way that's spelled. Uh, Adam Adoris, Sir Valdemar, Big Daddy Pete, Butchman, Double Bass, 1985, uh, Sport Mock, Mor Mordakai Madness, something. <laughs> I Wolf Fion, do you guys like me trying to say all these names? Uh, Levels Up, AFR, uh, Bree Man 85, Piscina 00, RI2, Styles 9, Nar, Nargrog. It sounded like, I thought it was like Nardog uh, from fucking uh, The Office. Uh, Flower 84, Curdy Pop, Nivlack, Garth Mod, Socks Rock, Nemp the Lizard, Stink Dude 1, Clap, Afton, RM Darth, Zendra, Devout Machine, Airbon, Silly Fest, Memonite, Shalaman, Iron, Zoltan, Stallyhawk, Tiger, Both, Ash, 45, oh my god, so many, uh, Radio Surgery, Perfect Com, SMB VIP, Relapse Gaming Nation, and Medic Mark II. If you guys got a gift sub from TFLABZ, please say thank you to him. My God! And also, we got a gift. Uh, we got a sub from Atrax Lives. Holy mackerel! That was a lot. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Like I say, I can't believe that anybody even bothers to come in here and watch me just sit here and play fucking video games at all. So the fact that you support me doing this, um, and come in and hang out, it it means it means a lot because I like being able to do this. So thank you. Uh. Anyway, so uh, we're playing. We're, I'm gonna start this over here. I'm starting race over, and let's see if I can get through this. So that is the rival there. So he's the one that's the closest to me, I guess, in score. So as long as I beat him, I guess I'm. I'll be good, I guess. Now I hope you didn't gift all those out because you, you expected me to be an expert on this game because let me tell you, I haven't played this in 15 plus years so don't, don't expect much at all here. I don't even really remember much about it other than that you can like slam into guys and kill them and that's about all I remember. And then you can do this, then you can do this if I can do it, ready? Oh, I can't do it until the next round. Hang on. Maybe you can. Oh no, th there it is. You can do it. You can do the little spin. Knock these fuckers out.
Boom, somebody blew up. That's better. Fuck that guy. Come on, we gotta win this one. Love the graphics in this game. I believe this uh, was made by the same people that did the Monkey Ball games, the same team, I think. It even has some hints to that. Uh, I think when you beat like a thing, it'll, it'll say, thanks for playing, just like Super Monkey Ball. every drop of it to get through. Come on now. There it is. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, N. Drake, Anto99, and Jeep Co. for the subs as well. My God. What a stream already. Strange to think GameCube was only two generations after the Super Nintendo. Yes, it was developed by Sega AM2. Okay. It was Sega AM2. That's who did Monkey Ball. How do you have your GameCube hooked up RGB or component? RGB, Mad Soccer. Superior Scarlet asks, does James have a channel I can sub to as well? He doesn't. Um, I've been suggesting to him for several years now that he should stream, and I offer to him often to set, help set him up with the channel and because I know how to do all this and stream and deal with capture cards and, and whatnot. Um, I mean, I've also been trying to get him to buy a PC for a long time to just, you know, so he can stream and you know use steam and stuff like that but um so maybe one day he'll be interested do i sell any artwork uh not really anymore i don't do as much art anymore when i do uh i'll stream it right here on uh, on twitch once in a while i'll do an art stream it's been a little while since i did that but i got a uh, really cool uh wacom uh, syntec tablet and i did a stream some time ago uh, where I would I'll draw things for the chat so I do that now but yeah I mostly stream now James is only using a Mac yeah he, he only uses a Mac yeah do I use OSSC uh, no, I use a FrameMeister. I haven't really, I don't, I don't have any experience with the OSSC at all. Uh, I've only ever used a FrameMeister. When I first started streaming, I just um, was like, right off the bat, I just got the FrameMeister, and I've just stuck with that because it's always worked for me, so I don't know anything about that. Why can't Mac stream? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't think they can. Cause you, like you need like um, most of the programs or stuff are like for PC and and whatever. Um, Mac is a different sort of beast. Because um, basically, like uh, so you know, James and I went to college together and all that, and you guys you know know all that stuff. But we uh, learned to edit um, on Mac. Actually, uh, so I had a. Uh, right when I got into college, I got a G, I think it was a G3 computer, and you can actually see the computer in, uh, we did a video called The Alternate History of Mario. That was my computer, and I would edit stuff in college on that. And then uh, sometime after that, James also got a G3. Um, so ever since then, I guess I started that. So I guess after, the, uh, after then, uh, it was all Mac stuff for a really long time. And then what happened is eventually in 2015, uh, we were going to do AVGN games, that episode, and we had to capture, because a lot of those games were made by fans, 
and we had to capture the games and I didn't know how at that point because at that point we were capturing like uh, game footage on DVD um, so James was like I don't know how to do that and I, and I was like I'll try to figure it out so I bought a PC at that point and I started capturing all the gameplay and stuff like that for um, the ABGN games episodes so I started doing that and then um, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing for that. So I was using, like, fraps and stuff. Like, this is, I think it was 20, 2015, or maybe it was, whenever the hell that episode came out. It was, like, around then. And um, I didn't know how the fuck to do it, because I hadn't used the PC since, like, 1999 or something like that. There was, like, from 2000 to, like, whenever the AV Jan Games episode came out, I didn't use a PC at all. So I had completely forgotten how to use Windows or anything like that. Um... So, uh, so that's why I did it because we because I had a necessity of having to capture that for that episode that we wanted to make. Um, so I started doing that, and then, then right around the same time, I started live streaming. Um, so and then I was live streaming on YouTube for a while, uh, and then I started to learn about capture cards and you know uh, different you know streaming. Uh, all the streaming stuff so um so now i use uh, i still use mac and i use pc so i use mac and pc and everything that there is like just computers everywhere i have a lot of computers um so i don't just have what like i have lots of laptops and whatever so i actually have have i have like a bunch of computers so i had an extra laptop um, that I ended up not using because there was what was it? There was something I was gonna do that I needed a laptop for, for, for streaming, and then I ended up just it was like sitting around for like a year or whatever. And James has still been recording or had still been recording gameplay on the DVDs. Um, so what I ended up doing was just giving him my laptop, um, which is what he uses now. Um, and then I showed him how to use the uh, capture software and all that. So now uh, he's able to capture the way I capture uh, here. Um, now I have like a pretty powerful like actual PC, but he's it's he he can, he can capture the footage like 60 frames per second and all that now, which is which is which is important. So I wanted him to be able to do that and whatever. So I don't know. That was a long tangent about that. So ho hopefully that makes sense. Have I played Ratchet and Clank or Sly Cooper games? No, not really. Uh, you know what I was playing earlier today, though? I was playing, um, whenever somebody says Ratchet and Clank, for whatever reason, it makes me think of um, Crash Bandicoot. And I was playing, um, I was playing Crash Bandicoot, uh, I'm sorry, I was playing Crash Team Racing earlier today, because they have a remake, sort of, on it, on uh, PS4. And I have to say, the, the load times between screens on that game is abysmal. But um, but I was enjoying the game, and um, uh, so I went through the first world today in Crash Team Racing. Now I didn't have Crash Team Racing, the original game, because at that time I was I had like N64 and stuff, uh, which even at that time like I had N64 and I'd play some N64, but I was mostly playing like NES <laughs> like if I was gonna like play games I was playing like NES and Super Nintendo and stuff back then but like I, I would play some N64 um, and I didn't really get so much into PlayStation until later I played some stuff on PlayStation back then but I wasn't I was more into Nintendo stuff at that time and uh, you know so in, in years past in years after you know i started getting more into playstation stuff so i so i really missed out on all the crash bandicoot stuff so um tony had all the crash bandicoot stuff so we did a stream of crash bandicoot and crash team racing so i'm only really now getting exposed to the crash bandicoot stuff um so I tried the game with Tony, the original game, and I was like, oh, okay, this is all pretty cool, and I, I, I like it. I like the Crash Bandicoot stuff, actually. And um, so for the first time today, I really sat down on my own, and I was playing 
uh, Crash Team Racing. But I was playing the new one, though. I wasn't playing the original. Uh, but I guess it's pretty much the same. And uh, I've been trying to get through it. And it's really different than, um, you know, speaking of racing games, we're playing a racing game, another racing game. Um, I guess I like racing games. Um, it's very different than Super Mario Kart because I always, I always in my head, Crash Team Racing because I didn't really play it a lot, was just like, oh, it's their, it's PlayStation's version of Mario Kart, which I guess it kind of is, but it's very different as far as the gameplay goes. Uh, they like it, in Mario Kart. If you if you come in like third place or fourth place or whatever, you still go on to the next lap or the next round. In in Crash Team Racing, you have to take first place and you do not move on to the next race or the next track, the next course unless you take first place. So, it's like you do, you end up doing the course over and over and over and over. And I kind of like that actually. I think that's cool. I mean, I like Mario Kart too, obviously, but um, oh, and by the way, not to go on a whole nother tangent, but speaking of Mario Kart, somebody said to me, uh, I saw somebody somewhere, I think it was on YouTube, they said, hey Mike, you said your favorite Super Nintendo game is Super Mario Kart, but on another stream uh, I was watching, you said Final Fantasy 3 is a Super Nintendo game. And you know what? I remember saying that. I remember saying uh, Final Fantasy 3 was my favorite Super Nintendo game. And I love I loved Final Fantasy 3. Um, um, I remember, like, last time I played that game, which was years and years ago now, um, I actually captured a whole lot of footage of that because we, we were going to do a video on it, but we never did for Cinemassacre. But... Um, uh, I do love that game, and it is one of my favorites, but it's kind of like, ask me right now what my favorite game is for whatever system, I might, you'd be like, hey Mike, what's your favorite Atari game, like right now, and I'll be like, I don't know, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, fucking uh, uh, Demon Attack, I might say right now, and then ask me next week, and I'll be like, uh, I don't know, it's Kaboom, I think Kaboom's the best, you know, it's like, I might give different answers on different days, depending on my feelings and opinions. So I don't always, I don't like have this like one answer for like everything that's just like, if I answer right now that, you know, uh, fucking Mega Man 2 is my favorite Mega Man game. That doesn't, you ask me that next week, I might say Mega Man 3. It's like, it's, you know, it, the a answers are in the moment. So like, thank you very much, one point, 21 gig gig gigawatts for the sub and DN tell also Biny led as well. Thank you. Are you the same about food too? Has a uh, drunk relic. Uh, like if you were to ask me what my favorite foods are? Yeah, absolutely. Because it's probably what I'm in the mood for. Like, if, I want, if I'm like, oh, I am in the mood for pizza right now, I'd be like, oh, my favorite food is fucking pizza. But on another day, you know, I might be like, oh, my favorite thing to eat is, you know, a sub sandwich or something. Yeah, absolutely. The, so my answers are all over the place, basically. There are too many great games for a definitive answer. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's hard to... It, I, that's why I don't really like to... It's hard to give favorites on anything. People, people love to ask what your favorite of this and that is and they ask about movies too and it's such a hard like what is Mike what's your favorite horror movie and it's like I don't know I would rather give a list of like 15 or 20 horror movies that I like cause to pick one it's so hard to pick one movie you know it, it, it is for me at least And, and, and that's the that's the thing. It's like, you know, so when people ask me, usually people, because I get, it's only because I get the question so much. They say, Mike, what's your favorite video game? I just say Zelda because I grew up loving Zelda and it was one of the first games that I like, you know, really got me into gaming and stuff like that. But like, it really, is it actually my favorite? I mean, I don't know. Some days I'd rather fucking play Doom than play Zelda. Some days I'd rather play, you know, other shit. You know, some days I'd rather play, like, fucking Gradius or something than Zelda. So it's, like, it's just an answer that I give because I know it's a game that I like, but it's not necessarily really true. What's your favorite favorite question? Not that one. 
What is my favorite color? I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't fucking know. What's your favorite color? Big Bird's Egg Catch. What about Big Bird's Egg Catch? Oh, about, about favorite Atari games? Yeah, that's it. Actually, definitively, yes. My favorite Atari game is Big Bird's Egg Catch. <laughs> yeah. The fucking kid controller. All right. Wow, that was the longest uh, time in between rounds ever. Let's go to the next round. Jeez. Procrastinating. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like this is the last of uh, whatever I'm on here. Like I said, I haven't played this in forever, so I don't know what I'm fucking doing. Wait, wait, Metropolis? Is it weird to see Superman 64 going around with rings in here and shit? Oh, another thing, it's almost like there's strafing in this game, because you can hit the shoulder buttons, R and L, and it, you can, you can like, I don't know how else to put it, but kind of strafe, like left and right, like that, I just did it there. So instead of necessarily using the, uh, the control stick for everything, you can sort of move over with the, uh, like, like, like like that, like I'm doing it like that. So you can do that too. See, I'm doing it like that. So that's a different, another thing with the controls. Um, I, so I'm old. So I grew up uh, with the Super Nintendo game. Mostly, so Super Nintendo game is always like, you know, that's the one I'm probably mostly nostalgic for, but this one, uh, this one I did buy when it came out, and I, I, I enjoyed it, and I always thought that this game was really, really cool, um, and I, another thing is I always wanted to play more of this game and come back to it, because I just never really, I never really devoted the time to this game that I should have. I would always go back and end up playing the Super Nintendo game over and over and over. Um, and I, I like this one better than the N64 game, I, I would say, as well. N64 game I, I like, but this one I think I like a lot more than that. So... And then there, there's another one on, uh, I guess, Game Boy Advance, and I think I remember not really liking that one that much. It was that's probably my least favorite, I guess, of the. Um, you know, not that it's, it wasn't bad or anything, but it, it's kind of like I'd rather play the other ones. I'd rather play this, you know, than the Game Boy Advance one. But I mean, that should be obvious. It's GameCube compared to Game Boy Advance. I mean. Or, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, you know? Hey, what are you gonna do, you know? GameCube, Game Boy Advance, you know? Man, I'm gonna blow up. Or not. Or not. You can drift by pressing both L and R together plus left and right on the stick to do a drift. Okay. We'll have to practice that. Yeah, speaking of drifting, so I was talking about the Crash Team Racing. The power sliding in that is, uh, it took me a little bit of getting used to. I, I couldn't do it at first. Um, but after, you know, playing several rounds, I, I started to get used to it to where the, you sort of jump and then you hit in the direction that you're gonna go. Like if you're gonna go left, you just turn left. And then as you're turning left, you um, hit the, you know, the, it's the L1 and R1 or whatever. So um, so you hit that and then the, uh, or the meter starts going up and then you hit like L1 and then he'll do a, uh, a burst. But then it'll do it. What I didn't realize is that you can do it again, 
Well, so the meter will go up like three times. I think three might be the max. So it's, and what else is interesting is his. Uh, I didn't know, crashes or whoever the character you're using. Uh, the wheels will glow, and when the wheels glow, you can glow. Uh, you can do the boost then, or when the meter is like in the in the right spot. But it's a little hard to look at the meter, um, so it's probably the kind of thing where you gotta just play it a lot and get the timing down or whatever. Anyway, I was doing doing the working on the power sliding stuff earlier. Did I ever play Balto 64? Yeah, Balto 64 is the best N64 game, right up there with um, Hercules. Yeah. Surprised you don't play Gran Turismo? Um, I played uh, what was it? Gran Turismo like two or three on. I want to say was it PS2 or PS? Probably PS. I don't know. I played a little bit of the. I forget which one I got into. I got a little bit into one of the Gran Turismo games actually for a while. Um, one, one of the older ones, and I kind of. I think I got bored with it. I I really like uh, the burnout games. They're they're more like unrealistic, but like I think they're a lot more fun. Like I think I'd rather play like a burnout or like a something like this that's not realistic, but it's more like the gameplay is more more fun. But I but I did I actually I have played some Gran Turismo though, and I, I kind of got into that a little bit. Do you think that Nintendo could pull off a quality F-Zero game on Switch? Well, Nintendo didn't even do this game. It was like the fucking Monkey Ball team that made this. So they should get the Monkey Ball team together. I guess. I don't know. All right, I think that was the last uh, race on this thing. All they have to do is remake this game unironically. Yeah, really. They, I don't know. Well, I mean, this game should be re-released, at least, so that people can... How about that? Just re-release this. Honestly. That's really all they, they need to do. Because playing this game at this point is probably uh, probably difficult, because I guess they don't really... Like, you, they don't have this... Um, they, they put out uh, Doom 64. They should put out fucking F-Zero GX on Switch. You know, that maybe that'll make you know people happy because I know people want a new F Zero game, so at least put this out. You know, F Zero GX Deluxe. Yeah, exactly. Just do that. You're watching me while watching Impractical Jokers on TV. I saw uh, Impractical Jokers live, actually. Let me see. Let me see if I can bring this up. Um, I went to see their live show. And uh, it was it was entertaining. It was it was it was good. Let me see if I can find the Here. I'll show you. This is this is me. Uh, at the Impractical Joker show. They're pretty funny. There you go. There's me at, at Impractical Jokers. They have a thing about scoop ski potatoes. Have you guys seen that one of the Impractical Jokers if you watched it? But yeah, I saw them uh, I saw them live. That was a couple years ago. And um they uh, they were it was it was it was funny. They showed some behind the scenes like stuff that I guess they couldn't air on television. And uh, it was pretty funny. Congratulations on your well, They're interviewing Captain Falcon here. I couldn't have done it without my friends. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Captain Falcon. Nice glasses and hair. Right there. Thanks for that's like monkey ball. Thanks for playing. No, thank you.
Falcon Punch. You acquired tickets. New parts, okay. So, uh, so since I don't know a lot about this, and you guys can teach me, um, with the customizable stuff, it, I know if you're playing, like, let's say Mario Kart 8, and let's say you put on a different pair of wheels that you might get, they're not, in Mario Kart 8, they're not just cosmetic, which is cool. Like, they're actually, uh, depending on what you put together with your vehicle, uh, you can make a better vehicle. Is this like that, or is everything here cosmetic? Meme guy says he loves Monkey Ball 2. I love Monkey Ball 2. I think Monkey Ball and Monkey Ball 2 are some of the greatest games ever made. And then I think the third game on GameCube that was Monkey Ball was Monkey Ball Adventure, and I thought that game fucking sucked. And then they put one out on the Wii, which was Banana Blitz, and that game fucking sucked. Uh, but Monkey Ball 1 and 2 are seriously some of the best games I've ever played in my life. The customizable machines can have different performance. It's not cosmetic. Thank you, 42199. Okay. It is like Mario Kart 8. Oh, that's good then. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, so it has... I mean, I'm just starting this, so I probably don't even have anything to be able to do here. And I think you can make your own cars and shit, right? Uh, so you can buy other cars. Uh, I'm probably just going to stick with Captain Falcon right now, but um, I guess you can, you can buy other cars. I don't know what else is like good or what's bad. Actually, does anybody have any suggestions for this for anybody that's any cars that are good? Because I have, oh, I can buy something here. Then there's also the custom parts. And like, I don't know, I don't know about any of this. So, yeah. If anybody has any suggestions on what to spend my F Zero money on, let me know. Because I have no idea. Gino says the Deep Claw is good. Okay, let's see that. Okay, that's deep, that's deep claw, I guess. Get the Escalade with the spinners. So deep claw. And I don't know what the question mark is about. You can unlock more characters and parts for unlocking F-Zero AX stuff, which you can do in game, but very difficult to unlock the AX stuff unless you find an F-Zero AX arcade cabinet in your area. Oh, okay. I think um, uh, Nathan, uh, Keith Apicary, I think he had one. I don't think he has it anymore, but I actually did know somebody that had that at one point. <laughs> Not, I don't think anymore, though. Monkey Ball is Mike's favorite game. Is one of them. It's... All right, I'm not gonna buy anything right now because I don't really know. Um, oh fuck it. it! Gino said to get the fucking that one car. Let's get that. Deep... He said to get Deep Claw. I'm going with Gino. So I bu I bought that at least. But we'll come back to that more later. Oh, and here's where you can uh, do the different difficulties. Um, so I mean, I could, I was, I was doing the easy thing. So let's let's put it on standard at least. Uh, so I could go back through the Ruby Cup, or I could go on to Sapphire Cup. I probably should go through Ruby Cup again. On uh, let, let's see if I can get through it on standard. And uh, should I try this? 
let's I got I'll try it. I'm gonna this is this is Gino in my chat. He told me to do this, so if I hate it, we're all gonna give him a hard time. No, <laughs> no. All right. Oh my God! Look at this character, Octo Man. Well, he looks awesome. Yeah. How can you go wrong with Octo Man? Thank you, One Up Gaming, for the host. Are you planning on doing story mode? It's brutal on the harder difficulties. Maybe, maybe I'll try it after this. I don't know. I, I, I haven't thought about it. All right, so I put this on uh, standard now. So let's see if I can get through this. Hey, hey, I'm in first already. And maybe he was right. Now, can I buy any parts for this uh, for this amazing car? to make it even more amazing. Also, by the way, is this like the original F-Zero at all in that when you go off a ramp, if you pull back, you won't like do like a clunk? Do, do they, is it like that? Because I feel like when I'm going off jump jumps in this, it's like clunking and, you know, in the original F-Zero, you don't, you know, you want to have like a smooth like landing. I was about to say, I'm, I'm trying to come into modern times uh, with F-Zero, and then I realized that this game is about 20 years old. So th this is this right here is modern times for me. Sixth place, oh shit. I was like spacing out talking about it. shit. I should really just redo this. Um, oh, I'm actually gonna quit out and go back in because I should have like restarted. But that, that card does seem good. I want to keep uh, doing it with that. The handling and this looks good. It, it does actually. This um, this car looks looks good. I meant to go to quit. In this F series, you want to keep this stick of you know, controlling your weight, aiming down slightly is okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna restart this so that I can try to take first in the first at least. Oh, and then also there's there's story as well, so we can look at that. Um, we can look at that too. So I'll you know I can go through story and we can go through Grand Prix. Try story. It's hard as fucking fuck. I pro I'm not really even ready for it yet. I'll have, to, I'll have to work my way up to that. Would you say I should do, um, let's say I went through all of standard. W would that be good enough to jump in the story or should like, I mean, I guess, could I just jump right into it? I don't know. I guess I could just try it. You like my Cuphead shirt? I don't, I'm not wearing a Cuphead shirt. I'm wearing a Neo Geo shirt. You thought I had a Cuphead shirt on? I like Cuphead. I I do have a Cuphead shirt somewhere. Actually, it has a the devil guy on it, I think. All right, so while I'm doing this, I have to like really focus on what the fuck I'm doing so I can get through this. Okay. 
There you go. All right. For normal difficulty, you're good. Just jump on story mode. Okay. Well, let me just... I'm going to go through this first. Thank you, Cola Crew, for subbing with Twitch Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. Have I played Extreme G3 on PS2? I have not. I'm going to look that up. Extreme G3 on PS2. Let's see that real quick. XG3. Let's have the cool kids say it. Uh... Okay, so it's almost looks a little like F Zero, but it's got like a Tron bikes. It's like it's it's inspired by Tron racers or something. That looks cool, actually. I'd play that. Good suggestion. Extreme G is on GameCube as well, is it? Maybe I have it on GameCube actually. I should look over there. I might actually own that game. See, I have a lot of games that I just sit on my shelf and I don't never. Try them, and I should. Other than F Zero and Mario Kart, what are some of my favorite racing games? Um, Burnout, Takedown is probably the big one. Um, other than that, other racing games. Um, Dragster on Atari 2600. No, actually, I don't like that game. Um, RC Pro Am. Uh, non ironically. Um, let's see. I like um, Excite Bike on N64. The N64 Excite Bike. Um, Other racing games do I like? There's probably stuff I stream that I'm not thinking of. I should do that. I should do a stream of that too. Side bike. Um, I'm trying to think what else, what other racing games I like. Do I like the Star Wars pod racing game? You know, it's like, it's a good game. Like, the, I like the gameplay, but I fucking hate, like, those prequel movies. So I can't, um, I have a hard time playing the game because I, I cannot, unfortunately, separate myself from the movies. Um, I just get start getting aggravated because I start thinking about those movies and those characters, and then I have to turn the game off. Uh, but the gameplay itself is... Uh, it's the, I can recognize it's a good game and I would like to be able to play it, but I fuck, I just get really triggered and I can't do it. Uh, pole position. Uh, you know what? I never really liked pole position that much, actually. Uh, you know what, though? The pole position on Vectrex is actually really, really fun. That's the best version of pole position. Uh, Rad Racer. No, I don't, I don't like Rad Racer either. I never did. Hydro Thunder? Hydro Thunder. Oh, you know what? If you want to consider it a racing game, Wave Race. Well, it's called Race, a Wave Race. Um, it's just because it's on, like, it's not a cars. It's like, you know, like jet skis and stuff. But uh, Wave Race is probably up there. Uh, that game is so fucking fun. Um, so probably Wave Race would be up there. Excite Bike 64, I remember loving. Um, and I kind of, uh, I'm trying to think. There's got to be, there's got to be some other big ones. I'm just not thinking of. Yeah, Mike played a few Toho games. Yeah, did somebody ask me about Toho? I didn't see the question. Um, but I was gonna actually. Uh, oh, uh, Drunk Relic. Have I ever played Toho? Yeah, I I had been playing in uh, Legacy of the Lunatic Kingdom a little bit. Uh, Drunk Relic, and um, trying to make it through that. 
Um, I might actually do a stream of that sometime soon. Um, I really started... Uh, I started playing it with the key keyboard because I was playing it with a joystick. Um, like a real arcade, like Hori joystick. And I was like... Like, I think that's more meant to be played with a keyboard. Because I I had heard it's, like, meant for keyboard, but I never tried it with keyboard. I tried it with everything. I tried it with controller, and I tried it with, um, you know, arcade stick. And I thought arcade stick was the way to go. But then when I started playing it with a keyboard, I was like, I think this is meant to be played with a keyboard. So, because it's such, like, little minute movements like left and right because you're just like on the bottom you're kind of like going like left and right so it's like I feel like the keyboard might be the best way to play that game which is weird I, because you know anyway do you stream Vectrix it's a hard thing to set up but I, I've done it once in USA. Well, yeah, I mean, there's the older stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's there's are fine. Those kind of that stuff's fine. Um, thank you, too short for the sub. Agreed about Rad Racer. Yeah, I just I'd, I want to. I've always wanted to like Rad Racer. I just I can't. It's I can't play a Rad Racer. Big Rigs is your favorite. Yeah, uh, Desert Bus, of course. That's my favorite racing game. That's, right. Rad Racer isn't very rad. No, it's not. Um, I feel like there's definitely some racing games that I'm totally, like, leaving out right now. Um, well, I, by the way, I was talking about the cr Crash Team Racing earlier. That, oh, what about the Donkey Kong? Like, the, there's Diddy Kong stuff. I, now, I didn't play a ton of that stuff, but I, I did play a little bit. I remember enjoying th that kind of... Um, the, cra the Crash Team Racing, I think I'm, you know, I didn't play it back then, but now that I'm playing it now, I'm kind of enjoying it. Um, there's got to be other stuff. Anyway. Metal Monkey. Thank you, Metal Monkey. Oh, micro Machines. And there's, there's actually a couple racing games. Uh, there's one that I played on, uh, it's either on Switch or it's on PS4. I'm never gonna think of the name of it. I have to look at it. Maybe I'll grab my Switch after this and look. There's one called Fast, uh, Fast RMX that I haven't played much of, but it seems pretty cool. It, it's, almost, it's almost a little like this. But like, seems like kind of like this, but not quite as good, <laughs> but pretty good. Um, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff. Now this is just became Mike names every racing game you can think of. Also, I played the, some of those ones on Saturn with like the racing wheel, by the way, and I didn't. I didn't really like those. Saturn's fucking great for shmups. It has some really good stuff, but uh, those racing games, I was not, I was not having that.
Can I make it? One more boost left in me. Just barely. Come on. No! 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 No, no, no. I was this close. <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you, Slarty Bardfast, for the sub. Batman is in this game? Yes. Batman is in every game, didn't you know? Boost power. Retired equals death. That's <laughs> true. All right, let's try this one again. Actually, tell you what, I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. Do I see a fish in the fucking sky back there? Did you guys see that shit? Fuck, it's an alien world we're on. Some Darius action going on in the in the sky in this game. There's a there's a shmup happening in the sky in F-Zero GX. <laughs> Sorry. I want to see somebody do that in a game. How about have like a track in Mario Kart 9 and like uh, you have a Gradius battle happening in the sky. Like remake one of the stages from fucking Gradius. Oh, what am I doing? I'm talking about Gradius. And I wasn't boosting. See what happens? You can't think about anything else. You're only supposed to think about racing. And I wasn't thinking about only racing. I was thinking about Gradius happening in the sky. Don't think about that as you're trying to win. I'm just going to go to the next race. We'll see if I can make it. Maybe I can still make it. That was bad, though. You can tell Mike is about to flip out, wait for it. I'm not quite getting that point yet, but that's gonna get there with this when I start getting further. Until I go crazy with F-Zero when it gets hard. You guys have seen my F-Zero streams. I, I definitely lose my fucking mind. This is, I'm, so I'm sure later it's gonna do that to me for sure. I know this is supposed to be a hard one. That's what she said. But I'm bum bum. Damn it. 
try to smack him. Speed. This is fucking speed and oh fuck. right side first because the I'll try to stay the right if I can the power up is on the right oh my god oh my god oh my god and then on the left there you go all right can I make it I don't know Should have been boosting it more. Well, second. All right. I wonder where I'm at here. Did they tally it up, like, and tell you where you're at, like Mario Kart? So I was in second. Oh yeah, they do. Right here. So I'm in. I'm in second place here. Shit. Can I still? Win. Oh no, I'm no never mind. I'm I'm in first right now. Never mind. Okay. Also about the um the balance, I guess where I'm at is pretty good, but like if I brought it up like that, is that should I just do that and leave it? Like fuck it, I'm gonna do that. Fuck it. Fuck them. All right, Let's see this. By the way, if you happen to just be joining, uh, I haven't played F Zero GX in like 15 years or something, so I'm I'm uh, re relearning the game right here. So don't expect anything out of me with this game but if you uh, but if you're somebody who's played a lot of this game and you're good at it and whatever uh, I, I'm glad to take tips and advice because I'd like to learn to get better at it right there is that like ice or something like I don't even exactly know what that is on that part when it comes up again I'll shout it out
pulled off of the gas a little bit on that. I don't know. Man, this, this speed. I, you know, what I have to say about this game. This game portrays speed maybe better than any game. Like, if you really want a game that's like fast, this feels fast. Because the GameCube have had blast processing, yes. That's all right, the Ron thirteen thirteen. is good too for feeling fast. Yeah, it's true. It's something slippery, but it's not ice, but it's slippery. Okay. All right, so that was standard on the first Ruby. Thanks for playing. What? I'm going to ask, I just, whatever. I'm, I don't care about asking Octopus Man a question unless I go, whatever. I guess I should, I should have listened to it. Whatever. And what do you think, Octopus Man? Um, so I can do the next uh, Grand Prix, or I can go into story. A lot of people I know want me to try story, so I'll try story. I don't know how hard it's gonna be or whatnot, so I might have to like jump back to Grand Prix, but I guess this is the beginning of this, I don't know. I don't, I don't even remember this. I did this like 17, 18 years ago. Falcon Cave. Cave. Like blue, did they design him from Blue Falcon and Dynamut? I think maybe they did. All right, get all the capsules on the track and finish within 80 seconds. Oh God. 
I'll try. I don't know. I'm gonna give myself a little more speed here. Uh, I don't know. I'll do that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. They make you, if you're supposed to get every single one. Yeah, shit. Alright. We'll get it. A shoes between you and Aaron again. Oh, is Aaron streaming? Is, did she just go on? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Oh, I guess she's been streaming. She's streaming Lords of Thunder. I want to watch that. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop streaming so I can watch Aaron play Lords of Thunder. I, li I like Lords of Thunder a lot. Uh, Captain Falcon trains normal best time or normal? I don't know. How do I just go to the next? Do I have to go to normal now? Wait, wait. What happens here? I guess I have to do hard now, right? Is that what they're looking for me to do? You have to buy the next chapter in the shop. Oh, is that all the story that I can do now? Go to shop to get the next chapter. Oh, okay. So I have to like buy the chapters in the story? All right. Uh, is that in under the customize? I know there's a shop here. There's f -Zero shop. Okay. There's machine custom parts and items. Is this where it would be? Thank you, John Foster, for the sub. All right, let's see. Oh, here it is. Right here. There. Got it. All right. All right, let's, let's do that. Fuck. 
Hold up. Oh no. No, 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 don't do that to me. I like this game. It's gonna make me fix the thing too. I have to go and break for a second, try to fix this, hang on. Fuck. Game is back. Um, let's see if that's stuck with the buying the thing. I hope that. I wonder if that's what fucked it up. No. Okay. So it's it's there. Oh my god! I thought I was gonna do it again. Like leaving the customized thing. It was like. Shit, scaring the shit out of me. All right, Samurai Goro, let's do this. Chase is a bounty, let's watch this. Thank God, it seems like it's working now. I remember this. Oh my God, I haven't seen this in such a long time. I think I remember this because I was excited because I, he's who I used in the original F-Zero. They should have like a fucking F Zero ride in the in the Universal Nintendo world. I know they're gonna do Mario Kart. It's gonna be all Mario and Zelda and shit. But it'd be fucking awesome if they built like a big, F awesome like F Zero. Dude, make an F Zero GX ride, Nintendo. Come on. They make a fucking F Zero GX ride at that Universal. That would be fucking cool. Do that. Do that. That would be so much more interesting than fucking Mario. I mean, Mario Kart ride would be cool too, but. They're making Mario Kart ride. No, I know, it's, it's I mean, they, they have to. All right. Already? Oh my god. You hear the music? It's, you know, just like the... Whoa! Fuck farts! give you anywhere on this to um, get your health back. Look at all the boulders up there. That's how I imagine it in uh, Zelda 1. All the boulders in the Death Mountain. <laughs> like, they're, they're just sitting up there waiting to roll down.
fucking I didn't know how much further the fucking end was. I had so much left to I can I can do this. Damn it. Alright, so I'm definitely gonna be saving this boost. Start spamming it pretty soon. All right. Fuck you. Fucking boulder got in my way. Damn it. Him right off the edge. What if we could do that? Knock him off the edge right in the beginning. Tickets, Chapter 3 High Stakes has arrived. Uh, purchases that. Purchase it at the shop. It probably said that before, but if you haven't noticed before, I don't tend to like to read. <laughs> Real men don't read instructions, according to Tim Allen. I, I still would like to find the episode where he said that, by the way. Cube doesn't shit the bed on me again. Alright, um. Attack. Um, here, let's do this again. I didn't know I was gonna have to, like, buy them all in the shop. That's kind of weird. I wonder if I'll need the money at some point to go, go back to the Grand Prix thing. Let's see what the next one's gonna be. Don't die on me. Alright. You have to buy them because the devs want the players to play the racing modes. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> High stakes. I play the Track Mania games. Um. Yes, a little bit. Not much. Very little. This looks like a scene out of Star Trek 3. He's polishing his knob there. He 
to steal this guy's coin, dude. Look at that outfit Captain Falcon has on. I want to dress as Captain Falcon for Halloween. I, I decided that I want to be Captain Falcon. Look, like, look at that. Imagine seeing some asshole walking around the grocery store wearing that outfit. I want, I want that exact outfit, and I'm going to go walk around the grocery store. Not for a video. Not for a joke. I'm just going to go do that. Beast Man. I want a He-Man racing game. There needs to be more He-Man games. Somebody want, somebody mod F-Zero GX into a He-Man theme game. All right, let's try this out. If it dies, go on the Wii. The Wii's laser is sturdier. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I can break my Wii out. Maybe for next stream or something. Not a bad idea. Oh my god, look at this level. Oh, I remember this level. Vaguely. Oh my god, I have no idea where I'm going. They all knew there was like a jump there or something. Oh, that, right, that, I say. Holy shit, I vaguely remember this level. This is awesome. Look at this fucking clown back there. They don't make games this good anymore. Seriously, like, this is awesome. making me want to play monkey ball too. You love this chapter? Isn't it cool? Just like forget whatever that was. <laughs> I don't know what happened. There you go. Why like five times and it didn't do shit? Hell.
I, I took second. Wow, that's hard. Fuck. It was better. <sighs> if you were 10 years younger, you would have played the shit out of this game. Yeah, I, mean, I was like 23 or something when this game came out. John Foster, yeah, I played that um, when I was a kid, King's Quest. All right, let's try this again. Shit, this is hard. I don't know if I can beat this one. So good. start. Right into the fucking roulette wheel. Mm. 
fucking pellets. Oh yeah, I'm fucking done. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Thank you, Turbo Ox. OG. Damn it. <sighs> Hands are sweating now. I wish that fucking shit would get off the screen because I can't fucking see when it says that. You see that fucker go ahead at the last fucking second at 10,000 miles per hour? Fucker.
unbelievable. They just all fucking boost, huh? Fuck you guys. Oh boy. chain purchase at the shop I'll give you a bloody chain to unlock the next thing even. I probably have to go back and play more of the Grand Prix. Let's just see. How many points or whatever. I might have enough to unlock it. 42? Yeah, probably. 30. Challenge of the Bloody Chain. Challenge of the Bloody Chain. Now this next mech mission is a major pain. Alright, I'll... Ch I'll Give it like one shot. I'm gonna go soon, just so you guys know. But um, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it just so we can see it. Uh, here we go. Gotta go like back to customize, buy the thing, come back to this. It's like let's see what this is all about. Cutscenes are Oscar worthy. I think they are. I think they should win. Alright, let's see this. Accelerator on? I don't know. I don't know if this is another, like, I should save it to the end kind of deal or. Probably, probably should be. They need to give me like. Oh, this is this one's gonna be hard, huh? Um, oh, this is like near the beginning too. Yeah, I'm gonna like blow up. The fuck, man. Fuck these 
guys. Getting a little health back that way. Oh my god, thank you god. Well that makes a fucking horse of a different color there. <laughs> that makes a difference. And blow his ass up. I'm not going to catch him. Not unless they give me another... Yeah, I'm not catching him. Man, he's so fast. Yeah, right. I don't know. Uh, were you asking about uh, what year the game came out? 2003? I'll try it one more time. God help me, God help me, God help me. No!
come on with this guy. How do you fucking get closer to him? This is crazy. Did I not kill enough of the bad guys to get closer to him? Or what? It's like he just speeds up. If, oh, now he's slowing down. Fuck. Fuck this guy, man. Fuck. Mission failed. I beat him. Wait, do you have to blow him up? Fuck. Is, is it not just a, oh, you have to fucking kill him? I, th I thought you just had to beat him. I didn't know you had to fucking, all right. I didn't know you had to blow him up. really close. Fuck. Jesus. Oh man, now I have like no... Z button. I wish it. I wish it was one of the other buttons. To do this for this. I'm gonna blow up. Can't like get the energy to. It's like I'm only keeping myself alive and not getting. Fuck you. <laughs> Finally reached him by the end of it. It kills my finger to hit the Z button like that. Ugh. Best attempt so far, yeah.
it's like they don't even let you like get the chance to get to the guy at the end until it's like right near the end. Fucking keep hitting the fucking Z button like that. I wish it was like, I wish you could do that with X or, or a different fucking button because now it's killing my fucking hand. The last cup is hard as shit. You can change your inputs, really. I want to do that then. Let's see how you do it. I click settings. At least for this, because it's like... Like, how do you get out of this? I think I just have to quit the whole thing here. So it's not under settings, apparently. maybe here we go so I don't know what I can set it to for me to be hitting it because it's like the only button left um, I use Y to boost and X to slam into stuff. I mean, I, you know what? Just for that, I'm using it more. Maybe I'll swap, swap it with X. Yeah, change it to. I'm gonna change it to X. What if I do that? I'm gonna have two things be X. Side attack and spin attack is both the same now. That's fine. I guess. Well, oh shit. Wait, it still made it. Did I not save it? Hang on. Let's make this X. And let's make this the Z, I guess, just for this at least. Okay. This is okay, yes. Okay. Try this. Maybe it won't fucking keep me killing my fucking finger. Tony's raiding. I'm getting raid. Hey, thank you, Salt E Panda, for the sub. If you're joining from uh, Tony's stream, I know he just did a stream of uh, all the episodes of Siphon Filter and Friends, which I thought I was his friend. I thought I was his first best friend, but apparently. I'm not champagne. I'm shit, according to Tony. According to Tony, I am shit. I'm very hurt. <laughs> All right. Check out Siphon Filter and Friends on YouTube. <laughs> Tony uses people's. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Okay. Let's try this again. This is gonna be weird now that it's not that button. I remember it's X now to do the spin. Hopefully that should be better. That should be a lot better though. I hope.
Like I can hit, I, like once in a while. I hit the Z button like once or twice, but like when you keep hitting it like over and over like on this, it's kind of hard. Hard on your finger. Right, so far, so good. Not dead though, right? Come on, come on. Oh. Fuck that motherfucker! How hard is he to fucking blow up? Fucking do that. Fuck you. Oh my god. Thought I did. Did I get him? Oh. What is that? Rest. With the meters. Damn it, I was sideswiping him some. It's fucking hard to blow up. You'd switch the side attacks to the L and R. get to him since when you're rotating you're invincible to other cars so doing the, like the spinning thing and I feel like wouldn't that be weird to put I guess I could try it it seems weird but I guess I'm gonna try it I, I, 
I guess I'll leave the slide like that. And spin attack X, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna try that. Thank you, Gravity Gunner. Oops, what did I just do? Get me out of here. Yeah, save, go. Oh. Side attack only if you're really sure that you have your aim, you have him in your aim. Um, well, I am never gonna have him in my aim. The side attack thing is fucking hard to do because it's like it's hard to know when the guy's like next to you. If it, if it, if the game was like overhead helicopter view and zoomed out more, then you'd actually be able to see the racers. But it's like, as it is, it's like, it's very hard to tell when they're next to you. And I've already even have the camera angle kind of zoomed out. I want to zoom on the angle that's a little bit more zoomed out so that I can kind of do that, but it's like. Fuckers up! times you got to hit this motherfucker how strong is he jesus like i hit the fucking motherfucker like 10 fucking times <sighs> you actually killed him somebody said i killed him sh mario also said i actually killed him what did i come on seriously The game robbed you, but he didn't explode. You actually killed him, but he didn't explode? Really? Somebody clipped that. Fucking, come on. It's fucking cheap. So basically I did it, but they didn't give it to me. Why didn't they give it to me? I didn't kill him in enough time. Fuck me. All right. Hey, thank you, uh, Neptune Twitch, for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Man. I just want to get, I just want to do this. That sucks, I would have had it right there. Well, I guess considering 
I apparently killed him, but just not enough time. It must mean I'm getting better at it then, at the very least, which is good news. Did I kill him? I'm not getting attacked here. I think I might have got him. Oh my god. Finally. Thank god. Alright. Well, I'm glad I didn't stop. Man, that was bullshit before that. I got robbed before that. Look at this. Oh, this is. Is this him? This is the cutscene? What? I blew him up. Alright, well, anyway. I, I, I'm gonna stop for now, guys. So, there you go. That's my first time in um, 15 plus years playing F Zero GX for, for the most part. Um, I think I played it like a little bit like a few years ago or something but like b b very little um yeah i pretty much haven't like sat and played this for a long time for a very long time uh so i hope you enjoyed the stream uh i'd like to play more of this it's really fun it's tough but it's uh this is a really good game like i said it um i can't think of a game that really makes you feel like you're moving fast better than this game it's just really it has that uh, sense of speed to it. They really, they really nailed that. It's a really good game. Uh, if you've never played this game, you should play this game. It's really good. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. Uh, thanks, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the subs uh, and all that, and, and the support, and, and watching, and, and everything. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.